Sensor scan to one half parsec. On screen. Weapons are next. It's more like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, tiny whiny stuff. Open a channel. All vipers, break, break, break! Impossible to see the future. This is the emergency holographic doctor speaking. You wish the energy talking. Helmsman laid a new course. From the wind. Watch how I saw. Now, it's gone completely. Engage. Hello, and welcome to the Save Sci-Fi Podcast. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have the lovely Amy. hey We have Eugene, fresh back from Harrisburg Comic Con. Wow, mental blank on oh. where he went. <laughs> well, it wasn't out the airlock, no problem. <laughs> and... Last but not least, after watching E3, we have Zombie Stewart. Uh... He may have been awake for a while. So, yeah. Um, at, uh, where am I at now? I think almost 30 hours. Yeah. Yeah, it's Zombie Stewart for the win. Um, so, we're going to knock over E3 in the news really early so Zombie Stewart can die. Um, if we get a chance, we'll cover the supernova controversy uh, before Stuart dies because he knows more about it than I do. And actually, might even do that first, then E3. No, E3 first. E3 first. And then we'll let Eugene give us a wrap up on what happened at Comic Con. And then next week is Supernova, and then more shenanigans. So, anyway, let's get this party started. Stuart, what have you got for us for E3 and the news and stuff? Oh, tons. Uh, where, do I, uh, where do I want to start? Um, I'll, I'll start with EA and just work, work my way through everything. So, EA kicked off the panels. It's by far the worst panel I've ever seen. It was three three quarters of the panel was spent on Madden and FIFA. Yeah, I, I've heard that a lot of people are a little bit like, we don't care about yeah. your sports games because sporting the sport uh, is I sports. Respect, so I go away, sports. Them, I, I respect them because they are big franchises, but just not my thing. Yeah. That being said, Titanfall 2 looks really good. Oh, yeah. Customizable Titans. How awesome is that? Yeah, customizable Titans. A uh, uh, grappling hook, like a single, single player, player. campaign. Single yeah, player. Single player campaign. Ugh. Like, gotta give, give credit where credit's due. Yeah, did a good job with that. Oh, yeah. Uh, and if they have another Titanfall style statue, I might be tempted to get it. Uh, well, the collector's edition is actually you get one, you get a, a one by one um, helmet of a t- of one of the titans. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And then uh, the, uh, they didn't show anything for Star Wars or Mass Effect, sadly. Yeah, yeah, they they showed a little bit for Mass Effect, but it, it was not. Niche, but it was, yeah, it was, it was a, like a was, behind the scenes package. Yeah, it was a little behind the scenes. It wasn't really gameplay. They hinted at what the story is going to be, which is we're going to be in the Andromeda Galaxy as opposed to here, and in yeah, the Milky and the Way. New ship is, yeah, and the new ship is called the Tempest. Yeah, and it's going to focus around a, prim- a female protagonist as opposed to Shepard, who was <laughs> meant to be male. Yeah, everyone, everyone who, um, because I, I was up on Twitter with everyone, everyone was like, Fem Shepard? Fem Shep? It's like, no, it's not. No. <laughs> everyone wants Shepard. Not. It's not Shepard. Shepard is gone thanks to the most baffling ending to any game ever. <laughs> oh. oh, Mass Effect 3. Mass and Effect then 3. we come along to Battlefield 1. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Lord almighty, am I sinking money into that game? Oh yeah, Battlefield 1 looks really good. Really, really good. So, and the way they describe it, the way that they um, described everything... They have what they call them is the super vehicles. So you've got the you've got an armored train. Uh, it's like a battle. It's like a battleship blimp. It's like really cool. Battleship a battleship it, blimp. I see that being unfeasible in about every single law of physics. <laughs> it's as well as Lord of Lord of physics uh, working games. Sadly, she has especially a point. Especially with Battlefield. Yeah, it's, especially with Battlefield. Yeah, she has a point. And Minecraft. Yeah. I'll get to Minecraft because there's some interesting Minecraft news that came out um, through the Microsoft panel. 
Um, but we'll move along to Bethesda, and uh, Bethesda had a really good panel. Oh, yeah. Talk about from the worst panel to the best panel. I've heard nothing but positive things about the Bethesda panel. <laughs> Again, but I don't think it beats the shock value from last year. No. But it, they def- it was definitely a, a solid panel. Every, um, Fallout Shelter for PC is going to be great. I... Full on geeked out at Quake. I full on geeked out when I real when I yeah, saw that logo. That was out of left like, field, wasn't it? <laughs> I think it's great that we're going that they're bringing back. It makes me wonder: is next year are we going to get Unreal Tournament back? <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, here's here's never, the thing: they we're not getting Unreal uh, Tournament back. Hey, no one thought we were going to get Quake back. Fair point. See, I can't wait for that to come out. Um. Fallout DLC out the bucket load. Uh, new Doom DLC. I think I cut it, it covered everything. No, Prey. Prey was really cool. They so they're rebooting Prey, which is a very old series, but it's very um. It's sci-fi horror. Uh, yeah, it's really cool. It's like Dead Space. Yeah, and yeah, the the, the video because I, I watched a little bit of the stuff on the Rooster Teeth page just so that I had a little bit of an idea of what the hell's going on. And the video that they showed on there of, like, Black Misty stuff jumping around, it's like, yeah, yeah nope, done with that, bye! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I was watching it, I was like, um, no thanks, no thanks, <laughs> no thanks. I'm intrigued, but no thanks. <laughs> you, you hear that, um, at least the Rooster Teeth guys mentioned that it's going to be VR compatible? Yeah, oh, oh, that's, thank you for reminding me. Bethesda announced two huge VR things. Doom VR and Fallout 4 VR. Yeah. Coming out <laughs> next year on the HTC Vive. I'm getting a HTC Vive just for Doom. Yeah. Well, see, the Vive... Is, is, Oculus Rift is sort of disappeared at the moment. Have you noticed that? That's because there's a lot of... Ex- there was a, a lot... There was a, um, an exclusive... Uh, they were like only going for certain games, and there was like a really weird thing they did with it, so a lot of people went with the Vive instead. Yeah, I know. It's sort of the first one always seems to find a way to fuck themselves over. So, yeah. Yeah, no, the vibe is like there's a lot of cool stuff coming out. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll move along to Microsoft. Yep. <laughs> and oh, random note. My- have, have you heard what happened with the Microsoft store and how they killed Fable? Oh, you mean how they shut it down completely from Lionheads? Yeah. Like ages ago? Yeah. Yeah, so the, 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 it's only just broken as to what happened behind the scenes, and I was again, this is another thing I was oh. reading about. So yeah, I don't know. It's... Apparently, what happened was they were in the process of making it for the Xbox One without knowing that Windows 10 was coming, and then Microsoft sort of went, oh, by the way, you need to make this compatible for Windows 10, and they're like, well, shit, uh-huh. back to the drawing board. So they go all, almost all the way back to the start and start again from scratch. And then Microsoft said, oh, we're making the Xbox One and Windows 10 effectively the same thing. And they got screwed over in the process of that because they had to go back to the drawing board again. And they only get paid after a certain amount of the game is finished. Like each certain tier that they reach of completion, they get paid. And because Microsoft kept screwing them over, they ran out of money before they could reach a pay tier. Yeah. And uh, they, also, they were also made... expecting that the Xbox consoles by this point were going to have sold almost three times as many as have been sold. And yeah. Windows 10 was meant to be on almost ten times as many machines as it is on now. And since most of the upgrades have been by force, and not because people wanted to, um, uh, yeah, it's get, the numbers aren't adding up, and the projection guy should, will probably be thrown out of their airlock because pretty much... Yeah, that happened. And then they said, oh, by the way, this 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 whole Steam thing, yeah, we're going to do our own Windows 10 game shop, which then crashed and burned and pretty much screwed over everything else. To give you an example, Tomb Raider sold like 700,000 copies on Steam. Yeah. Compared to 19,000 on the Windows 10 store. And the Windows 10 store installer did not work properly. No. Interesting you, uh, interesting you mentioned um, uh, Windows 10 and, X- and Xbox One being similar because a very cool thing um, was announced by Microsoft actually they have interesting, uh, introduced a new thing called Xbox Live Play Anywhere where when you buy the game 
you can play it on Xbox One or on Windows 10. They basically just screwed over the Xbox One. Yeah. But this is the reason why, at the end of Microsoft, there is a new Xbox generation coming next year. Yeah, and... uh, It's called Project Scorpio. Yeah, and it's effectively going to be an Xbox One capable of doing 4K output and work with their um, the VR unit. Just like the new yep. PlayStation 4 that's coming out later this year or early next year. Um, uh, has, has probably, been, probably get it. Has been probably get it announced with Sony because the Sony panel's at um, in about two hours' time, so yeah. we'll get something then. Yeah, I haven't got any Sony or Nintendo news because they're, um, yes, they're coming later today and then Nintendo's tomorrow, so yeah. Yeah. So it's going to be a dead man by the end of the Sony panel. Oh no, I'm going to go to sleep. And <laughs> trust me, it's, it, no, no, I'm not missing Sony. And he, I, this is what I want to happen to start the Sony panel. It won't happen, but this is what I want it to happen. Start the pitch black, and all you hear is dun 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 da da da. It just starts with one winged angel, and a Sephiroth oh, player comes down from the ceiling. That's all I want. <laughs> Stuart, are you sure happen. you're not asleep already? I won't. Ha- uh, it won't happen. <laughs> but oh, I would be. I would lose my sh- collective shit if it did. Yeah. But anyway, the the stuff that I've read because I read up on a couple other things just because I wasn't sure if they've been covered at E3 or not. But Sony will not have their next gen console at E3. Neither will no. Nintendo. Um, no, well, there's not no their next. No. Yeah. Um, not their next gen, yeah, but no, the next sort of no evolution. X. But the yeah, rumor no, is going to be NAX. Yeah, rumor is the PlayStation 4.5 is going to be called Neo, so it'll be PlayStation yeah. 4 Neo will come out um, end of this year, early next year, and there is a good chance it's going to be bundled with the VR, he- the Sony VR headset, because they needed to upgrade the PS4 hardware in order to run the headset, and as a result, yeah, by dumb luck more than anything else, it'll allow the PS4 to run 4K as well. Mm. So. so yeah. I'm going to go so let's go back to Microsoft because there's a whole yes, bunch yes, of games to, to go back, through. Back to Microsoft. Uh, so they showed Gears uh, looks fantastic. Oh, didn't it? Love love Gears franchise like fl- played all of them. Love them. Can't wait for that to come out. Uh what else do we have our uh, Recall. Recall looks amazing. Recall makes me happy. So Recall was this cool little title that was teased last year. Where uh, uh, you control this girl that she still hasn't got a name or anything. They'll probably they may just keep her nameless for the thing. But um, basically, you're set. It's set in a desert, and you use uh, cores to build different robots. So you can have like a robot dog, or or like a, a giant robot that's like super strength and stuff like that. And each has their own sort of thing that helps you get through the game. It's really cool. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sounds cool. Uh, what else was there? Uh, Killer Instinct. Uh, so they did a little, little cool little time with um, Gears where they added one of the Gears characters into Killer Instinct. So that was a nice little crossover they did there. Uh, this is cool. Uh, customizable Xbox controllers. Yes. That, look, that looked awesome. That, that, was cool. that was a little left field, but again, cool. I, li- I like that. Uh, just trying to go through everything because... There's just so much info. Uh, uh, that's all I can remember off the top of my head. Oh, Halo Wars. Halo Wars 2. They showed um, gameplay for Halo Wars 2. Halo Wars 2? And Why was I not aware of this it, before now? I blame um, you! It was Rooster teased team. last year, but only the... Um, but only the, like, they've only shown gameplay trailer this year. It was like a tease last year. Nice. So they kept that under wraps. But yeah, they showed gameplay. I believe that's coming out... I think I think I think it's November this year. I think that's Halo Wars two. I really enjoyed Halo Wars. A lot of people gave Halo Wars shit, but I actually really enjoyed it. Mm. Halo Wars two looks great. Not my cup of tea. Yeah. So I probably won't get it, but looks fantastic. I'm gonna get now it. Now we move. <laughs> now we move on to Ubisoft. Oh God. What about Minecraft? Oh, no, yes, the Minecraft. So, yeah, uh, Minecraft, <laughs> thank you. Uh, so, I'm so tired trying to remember everything. So, Minecraft announced a cool thing with iPads. You can now play on on your iPad, and you can now play with PC and Xbox players. Back, back, back up, back up. 
Uh, isn't this like the fourth sign of the apocalypse when Microsoft <laughs> and Apple start getting along? <laughs> it's the, it's, I don't like the sound of this. Anyway. Yeah. Move now right we'll move along to Ubisoft. And you know what? Ubisoft had probably one of the strongest press conferences I've seen in a long time. They had they their press conference went for two hours. Wow, that is a wow. <laughs> they had yeah no, they had so much awesome stuff. Uh, For Honor looks fantastic. Um, uh, South Park. Oh, South Park. South Park. <laughs> South Park t- just took shots at Disney. In wow. like the most spectacular way, they released the trailer for uh, the new South Park game coming out, and yeah. I'm saying the title just once because I want to say it: "The Fractured Battle." Oh God! <laughs> but um, it's to do with um the superhero friend um superheroes theme. Yeah. The cool thing is with the, your character because it continues on from Stick of Truth, so it continues with the new kid. You can choose what you want to be, what your superpower is. So there's strength. Uh, it's called like a, a, a demolisher or something like that. There's a blaster, which I'm guessing is like mage or something. Then there's a speedster. Nice. We can make the Flash in South Park. Oh God, you would too. Oh, I'm so making Barry. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a speedster. I'm like, in my head, God, Flash, straight mm. Flash. So yeah. And so in the trailer, they're discussing what they're gonna do, and it was like. We're going to make a billion dollars from this franchise. And then on this board, they have Phase 1, Phase 2, Phase 3. <laughs> they have all shots these fired. movies. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Wait, here, wait for... That's not the shots fired. The shots fired is them at a table discussing the movies. And it's like, we should start with this guy. It's like, why should we start with the black guy? It's like, Marvel introduced the black guy? Yeah, they waited They waited till Phase 3 to introduce the black guy. <laughs> Shots fired. Oh yeah. <laughs> just everyone, just 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 all in chat was shots fired, shots fired, shots fired, shots fired. Uh. Then oh no no, then they took a pot shot at DC. So then they're having an argument. It's like we're gonna do civil war, we're gonna do civil war. It's like we're gonna go make our own franchise. It's like all right, we'll go see how far you get through phase one, DC Comics. <laughs> They're just, just taking pot shots at everyone. <laughs> I might get this game just... like I, I got Stick of Truth, well, the, which was fun, but I didn't really get that far through it because I don't really like RPGs that well, much. Well, the, cool the cool thing actually is that if you don't own Stick of Truth and you pre-order um, the um, Fractured Bottle, you actually get Stick of Truth for free. Uh, I had Stick of Truth. I think I traded it in. See, I, I don't. So I get to, I get to free game. Nice. Oh, oh uh, that also reminds me of something else I forgot in Microsoft. Uh, they show Tekken. Tekken hey. 7. So, Tekken 7. Hmm. Um, so here's the cool thing. For this week only, for everyone with Xbox Live, you can download for free the full game of Tekken Tag Tournament 2. Okay. No, no, this is a full retail game. For free. Huh. They do that, though. They've got the Xbox Gold thing. I don't no, have gold but this is a gold. So. This isn't gold, though. This is just a just is just a pure thing, just for E3 week. Huh. The origin. I'll have to get Xbox Live Gold and download a game I'd never play because I don't do fighters, except for Dragon I Ball Z. It. Dragon Ball Z is great. Mm. Yeah, Ball we Z's haven't exception. seen anything for Dragon Ball Z's universe. We may see something in Sony. I'm not sure. Yeah, we will either see it. at... what would be like a totally out of left field, is if we see it at Nintendo. Like what, what, Nintendo, Nintendo does a big Pokemon Sun really Moon. Weird. Like we'd expect Sun oh, and Moon. Sun... I know we've got Sun and Moon, and we've got new Zelda. Yeah. That's what I know well, so the far. The original panel was just going to be Zelda, just just all Zelda. Yeah. The whole panel was going to be Zelda. Everyone's like, guys, you've got Pokemon Sun and Moon. Show us some of that. And they sort of went, fine, we'll show you some of that. And I guarantee it's going to be like three minutes of, oh yeah, new Pokemon game. Here's the things. Zelda. <laughs> oh, there's a po- there's actually a Pokemon leak a couple of days ago. I don't know if you saw it. We have a koala Pokemon. Yes, I yes, saw that. that. Uh, de- uh, here's, here's the, so the name of it in uh, this is what the Japanese name uh, uh, translate to in English. Ko- koala. So it's spelled K W O A L A. Yeah, that's gonna be my new starter. 
you know the, oh. no no wait till you hear what its ability is. Yeah. Its ability is that it could only be affected by sleep. Yeah. God damn it, Japan. Hey, but it's it's so true to koalas though. It's like I know, it's like, I know. But the question is, how did does the that mean, does that mean koala when it evolves? Get, does that mean when it evolves to get rabies? Chlamydia. <laughs> All of the koalas just, in just, Australia have chlamydia. It just turns. It just turns rabid. Yeah. <laughs> No, no. All the koalas in Australia catching chlamydia, which is what's killing them off. That's just not really the point. Um, so yeah, we'll go back the, to the, 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 better, the better question is, how the hell did koalas get to Hawaii? <laughs> I don't know. Did we, I thought did they we made good them? pets. <laughs> did, we, did we send some over? <laughs> I don't know. But yeah. Um, and the question is, I want to make... If, if, if we've got koalas, I want to make an Aussie team. So I want pure Aussie animals. I want a kangaroo. Do we have a... I want a platypus. Can we be a platypus Pokemon? No, is there a platypus Pokemon? Oh, there's a lot of ducks. I don't, know if there, I don't think there there's is. Ducks. There's like, have a look. It's like, what, eight, nine hundred of the damn things. Um, so we've got kangaroos from Kangaskhan. We've got koalas yeah. now. So I want a dingo, or equivalent. No, I we want, don't have any... We don't, don't have any... Um, a thylacine. Oh, we need a Tassie Devil. We need a, a Tassie Devil. A thylacine? I was, I'm getting there. A thylacine or equivalent, a Tassie Devil or equivalent, and because lol 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 lol, lol a Bilby or equivalent. <laughs> oh, that'd be cute. <laughs> no, we, I, I guess technically we have Dodria, but that's an ostrich, not an emu. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, an emu would be fun. But then people are just like, oh, they're just trying to copy Dodria. It's like, hey. yeah, pretty much. Uh, uh, so we'll go back to you. Uh, go back to Ubisoft because. Uh, it's just it was just a really good panel. Like I full on like normally Ubisoft is like eh, that that was one of the strongest panels I've seen. Nice. EA seems to be the EA seems to be the weak one this year. Yeah, but it's EA. I know, but it's usually Ubisoft or Nintendo. Yeah, I know. Please don't let it be Nintendo. Please, please, Zelda, be good. Oh, well, please, well, please, please, please. They're gonna do please. like. Well, knowing them, they're going to do about 40 hours of Zelda, and it's just going to be him standing on stage just blabbering incoherently about why Zelda is a guy. Just just this him, for 40 hours he saying, does look very Zelda good. is very the guy. <laughs> it's because everyone thinks he so, looks like a girl. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Does, my, look, my bad. looks so much does in this one. I, I got that totally wrong. Link is the guy, so Zelda girl. is the girl. I'm the one that's awake, I should have picked up on that straight away. Stuart, you're half asleep, you're excused. If you want to sleep, <laughs> you can sleep in the airlock. <laughs> okay, uh, So yeah, uh, cool, uh, so they show uh, go- a new Ghost Recon coming out, it's called Wildlands, looks really cool. Uh, bas- basically, it's um like not your traditional Ghost Recon, it's like... It's more um how do I how do I describe it? It's kind of feels a bit more battlefieldy a bit where cuz it's not based in a it, yeah. it's like not traditional missions it's like stopping drug busts and stuff like that. Yeah, and it sort of annoys me that a lot of the online multiplayers are shifting towards that that battlefield yeah. model. Like Halo was Halo was a fun game back in Halo 2, 3 and Reach days. Because it wasn't super serious. And then Halo 4 came around and the online multiplayer, for me, just went to crap. Because it went, oh, we're going to compete directly with Battlefield and Call of Duty. And it's like, no, that's not what Halo should be. Why are you trying to, sort of... The whole reason I enjoy Halo online multiplayer is because it's fun. Not because it's super serious. I hate the super serious side. And yeah, Halo 4 and 5 online multiplayer just went blah for me because of that. Mm. And, um, not... and then they, at the end of Ubisoft, they showed off a new game. It's called uh, Steep, and it's really cool. It's um, it's like an action sport game. So like you can wingsuit, or you can ski down a mountain, or, or paraglide. Like it's really cool. Nice. And the the way that they've done, like there's actual like, like if you crash, you make noises and stuff. Like oh, you go man, like, this... ah. How, how many people are gonna play this game just to crash? And just to watch well, the body like, ragdoll. The, 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 uh, the video they showed off for someone was in a wingsuit. They crash into the bell tower and all you hear is dong. 
<laughs> okay, I'm going to get this game and see how many things I can crash into and how many different sounds they make. Like, I'm going to see if I crash well, into a, a window on a building if I go into the building. Or if I just sneer <laughs> out of the outside. I, wanna hear, I just want to hear a Wilhelm somewhere. Yeah. I, I want to hear at least one of them go, yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, Goofy. Goofy stuff. Yeah. I can't exactly. do Goofy voice, sadly. Yeah, Goofy voice. I hope I hear Goofy. Oh, Goofy. Sad, I, mean, I hope I hear some sort of Kingdom Hearts news at, at um, Sony. We haven't gotten anything. I'm like, please, Sony, just give me a little something to tide me over. <laughs> nope. Um, that's about it for sci -fi, uh, sci fi and major stuff. I. Oh wait, no! I missed one actually. Microsoft. So the um, every year, Microsoft sells um, indie games. It's a really cool game that's uh, um, out on Steam. That's coming to Xbox One. It's called um, Everspace. Yeah. It's um, it's done in the styles um, like Elite Dangerous and Star Citizen. Ooh. So yeah, it's uh, it's uh, it's been it's uh, I don't know where it is or how far it is on Steam. I haven't really done a check on it yet. But I know it's being greenlit, so I don't know if it's like. I might do a quick check on it now, see if it's like, if it's like so fully out or if it's. I'd open Steam, but then everything would want to update. Yeah, and no, I've got mine. I've got mine open. Make it very unhappy. Can't find it okay, on Steam. Quick, quick question: Did yep. was there anything said at G three about why Windows ten already updated to <laughs> one point ten in Minecraft? No, 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 nothing about that. You just go, no warning, just suddenly, oh look, Windows 10. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that, that that's a thing. I know it's a thing, but still, it's... really? Yeah, well, I caught my computer trying to, my laptop trying to upgrade to Windows 10 the other day. It's like, no, you fucking don't. <laughs> Mine's been trying to do it for like the past three months. I keep stopping it. Yeah. So, no, no, well, no. There's, there's, there's a little program called um, Never Windows 10, which you can download, and it just blocks that from ever happening. And I haven't had no, an no, issue no. with it trying to update since. Well, to Windows 10. No, anyway. the Minecraft going to... Um, oh, it's 1.10. Is that what you're saying? Still, yeah, still Minecraft 10. Yeah. No idea. They There wasn't any news on that, sorry. I can't... Wasn't anything that... They, they didn't really talk much. They mainly just were talking about games and stuff. Which is good, like, it's good that they're showing that and stuff, like, it's really good, like, bar E3, all the panel, all the press conferences have been really solid. Which is good to see, like, good to see everything's normal now again. Be interesting what, so what Sony brings to the table. That's the big question, is what Sony brings. Yeah. And will, there's a lot. will Sony bring the VR? Because the, we know they're not bringing the console, but they might bring the VR. Well, we haven't seen too much VR game. Oh, that's what I wanted to talk about. We're getting a Star Trek VR game. Oh, the Star Trek VR game. I can't believe we forgot about the Star Trek VR game. Four-player bridge commander Star Trek VR, where yeah. you are one, the captain, the engineer, the... I think you're a pilot. And the helm I control, think you're... I think. Yeah, helm control. Yeah, something like that. And um, you, inter you interact with the world using the two thumbsticky controller dealies. And, yeah. Um, yeah, you can sort of move around, you can look at different things, press different do you buttons. Know how they, do you know how they debuted the City 3? Do you know what they did? No. Do you know what they, do you know what they showed in the trailer? So in the trailer, to, to bring this out, and then one of these people came, up on, came out on stage later on, playing, pl like showing them playing the game, Carl Urban. Really? Jerry Ryan and LeVar Burton. Wow. <laughs> and then LeVar Burton comes out on stage afterwards. Wow. That's pretty cool. Jo and Geordie was like, and like, he was like, I feel like got back into my Geordie mode playing it. Mm. It was like, it was like pulling, a, it was like pulling skin back on. <laughs> that's so funny. And yeah, disturbing no, thought. So, yeah, it, it looks like it's going to be really interesting. There's ex where you can explore and look for things, and apparently there's yeah, going to be like... Yeah, I, I hope it does well. There's going to be tons and tons of planets, and from what yeah, I've heard... Yeah, I like that. It's like, I love that we're getting the, these kind of exploration games like No Man's Sky, Elite Dangerous, and all this stuff. Yeah. Cause the, and he, here's the thing, and I've said this from the beginning, from when I first saw No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky... Every, every now and then in the gaming industry, 
we ha- we have games come around that change it. Yeah. In the in the nineties, we the the three big shooters, Quake, Doom, Unreal Tournament. They were the, they were the big three in shooters. Nintendo with the sixty four, the first three D Zelda, paved the way for everything. Yeah. PlayStation, Final Fantasy Seven, like that was a huge thing. Yeah. You got Halo if, on the Xbox. You've got yeah. the different Need for Speed games and all that sort of stuff. If, if No Man's Sky does well, that's that's one of those game changing games that yeah. just changes that industry because there is so much what they. And that's why I kind of want to see it, Sony. I want to see a bit more of it just to keep us tied over until August when it comes out. Yeah. So that'd be really, really cool. Because this is a game that, if this does well, will change how those types of games will be made. Oh, yeah. So, is that it for E3? That is it. I don't believe there's anything other... And that that I've missed, I'm just going through my list. Do you have any other news? Uh, just going through my list. Just making sure I'm checking everything. <laughs> uh, did I mention Skyrim Remaster? No. <laughs> so yeah, we're getting a Skyrim Remaster. Uh, so like, it's like a HD remaster for the graphics. Which, the funny thing but is, like, there's already mods out there that look better than the remaster. Well, here's the cool thing with this. Is that when it comes out, you can also mod the game on consoles. Which is going to be awesome. But the same sort of modding rules are going to apply as with um, Fallout. They only mods to a certain size, you're going to have so many, and... No, 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 the, no, no, they showed what mods you can use. Like, they showed a list, and the, it was like of one that was called, like, Friendly Dragons, where instead of killing the dragons, you could ride them. <laughs> wow. So anyway, so yeah, um, it made it made it that made me happy because because uh, they played the Dova they played the Dovakin song because I was like Dovakin, Malawo, I was like full on singing. It. Oh god! At which point, that's, that's everyone so in your building crazy. complex is just like, go to sleep. It's one of the morning. Why are you singing? And you're like, Dovakin. Actually, no, that was at eleven. Actually, no, that was at midday. Actually, oh, okay, it's one of the good panels. I could be loud. <laughs> I, I full, I full, I full on collectively. Lost my shit when when I saw Quake. Like I was just like, "Oh, what? It's back!" I was so not expecting it. <laughs> like I full on, I full on geeked out. Like I could just Bethesda makes me geek out. I don't know why they just do. It's Bethesda. Oh, I want to like talk that. about actually. I want to talk about. Um, I'm going back to Bethesda. And I want to talk about one of the Fallout DLCs that's coming out. <laughs> you can make a giant mouse trap game. Yeah, I see that. That looked. Uh, they, 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 they were I saw that. Too, video. My first thought was mousetrap. Yeah, they, 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 were, they were the Rooster Teeth guys. When I was listening to it, um, cut to the video of a ball rolling down a chute. I'm like, what the hell is this? Mousetrap. <laughs> but what I'd, I just thought the what would be <laughs> really cool great. is if it's got sort of counterbalances and stuff. You could set up a giant like ball bearing clock. After it reaches a certain amount, it, it shunts another one free, and sort of, yeah. And you can look up and go, "Oh, look, it's yeah, exactly no, like, like this time." It's just with so much good stuff, and yeah, and so yeah, Sony's in a, about an hour and a half, so yeah, go and get some sleep. Yes, yeah, yeah. You don't have, have any other food. news. I've got a couple of other things. So we'll cover the couple of other things first, yep. because you have still got to do your news guy thing, and then. Um, we'll cover the supernova thing really quickly. Actually, we'll do the supernova thing really quickly now. Um, okay. So you know more about it than me. All I know is that the one of the the head of supernova, the, Daniel, did posted up big, something. No, no, he did a big no, 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 he, no, he, no. He did a naughty, and I don't know what the naughty is. And he sits trying I to pretend that he did. All right, go for it. Alright, so about a week ago now, or was it a couple of weeks? Uh, since? Yeah, it's, it's almost two weeks ago. Okay, um, I found I found this out on Twitter, by the way. I didn't find this out on Facebook. Um, I follow uh, Tristan Jones. He's one of the comic, uh, comic book guys that always comes to Supernova and stuff. And he put up a screen grab of Daniel's uh, personal Facebook page of him sharing a petition to stop the uh, the talk of... Uh, of uh, gay and lesbian talk in schools, like to say schools talk and stuff. Yeah. Now, now for those who don't know, in Australia right now, they're debating at a, um, 
whether to... Well, the, the Liberal Party, which is our equivalent of the Republicans in the States, and the Labour Party, which is our equivalent of the Democrats in the States, just so that you get an idea of who stands where. The Liberal Party is on is conservative. I still find that hilarious. Anyway, not the point. Um, the, the Liberal Party being hyper-conservative are trying to stop people talking about um, gay and lesbian rights in school, teaching kids about gays and that sort of stuff, you know, pushing forward for a more tolerant and understanding future where Orlando's don't happen. Um, and so, yeah. And so Daniel shared a petition, a, a petition, one of the petitions which is floating around, there's quite a few of them floating around by the far right, to sort of say, no, we don't want the kids to learn about sort of gays and that because reasons and God, and normally it's just God is the reason. Um, there's no yeah. other reasons I've heard outside of, my God is blah, 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 blah. Not the point. Um, so yeah, so Stuart, what was the fallout? A lot of people, a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, celebrity guests, uh, volunteers, uh, uh, d maybe, maybe boycotting for future years? Yeah. Yeah. Now, there, uh, here's, there here's was my... a, there was a tiny little bit of incredibly large amount of fallout. <laughs> here's my take on this. And this is why I don't, and this is why I think you should not boycott Supernova. Yeah. Do not go for him. Go to support the other staff, the volunteers, the tech, the tech guys, the guests that come out that give their time and money up because it is expensive as hell to run everything. Yeah, exactly. Don't, and then for, don't, and for the guests to come out. Exactly. Don't boycott it because of what he said. Go to it to support all of the jobs that it creates. Go to it for that reason. Now, yes, yeah, go support. Go support the artist alleys. Yeah. Like, go support everything else. And yeah. yes, he is a phenomenal douchebag. Yeah, he has since ret um, he hasn't necessarily retracted the post, but he has sort of backpedaled. He's trying quite to cover his backside. Backpedaled quite heavily on it, and sort of, and to the extent of saying stuff along the lines of, "Oh, I didn't know it was sort of about that. I thought it was about this," and uh, and sort of, he's he's in, he was in panic mode, I think he still is in panic mode, um, especially, we'll put it this way, next supernova is coming up in only a few days, this is not the time you want to start a god awful panic about a boycotting movement for supernova, it'll just dead badly in all accounts, and it was hilariously this time last year that Adam Baldwin kicked up all this shenanigans at the previous Sydney supernova. I swear, Sydney just has a bit of worse luck. Oh, Sydney. Sydney, Sydney, Sydney. On the, so, yeah. on the plus side views to it, at least it might be a bit quieter. <laughs> That's not the point. <laughs> here's, I, okay, here's, here's the thing. I'm staying, I'm staying 10 minute walk from the convention centre. I don't care if it's quiet. I don't have to get public transport there. It's great. <laughs> nice. Very nice. And I, get a, and, I get, and I get breakfast buffet at my hotel. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cut to Stuart's face on a Snorlax's body, just going. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> and it was just be me drinking. It was just be me drinking tons of coffee to keep my sorry ass up. <laughs> so, it's like this coffee is free, coffee. right? Picks up the jug, glug glug glug. Thank you. Glug, oh no, glug, I know, glug. I know, I know what's free. <laughs> well, see, we pay like nine bucks for like for everything, so it's like orange juice, like basic yeah. stuff. Uh, like it's like. You pay nine bucks for it. It's like, yep, I'm good. <laughs> just, yeah. just give me coffee. So anyway, the 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 point is, it's the shit's hit the fan, and he's done his best to sort of control it, and it's all sort of crazy controversy. So moving on to other news, Stuart, you have three minutes. Yep. Uh, so there's a lawsuit happening over at um over The Walking Dead. Oh. Uh, so AMC is uh, so there was a spoiler uh, uh, that was leaked, and AMC are gonna, uh, AMC are threatening a lawsuit over it. Okay, it's to do. Uh, uh, I don't know too much. I only just saw this recently, um, but apparently it was. Um, uh, it's about the Lucille victim, um, and like they. Must have leaked 
they must have somehow managed to figure out what happened or, or, or leaked what was going to happen. Yeah. And they full on sent and they full, and AMC full on sent a cease and desist to them. To who? And and a th- uh, uh, to uh, to um the, to uh the the people who who leaked it. Wow. Yeah, it's called the uh, the spoiling dead fans. Yeah. So yeah, so yeah, there was a cease and desist uh, sent to them with a threat of a lawsuit by AMC Holdings. Wow. So, so let's get a little bit testy. Yeah. Uh, so we move on to some sad, uh, sad news. As well as the Orlando shootings, there was another shooting, a couple uh, the night before. Oh, of a si- the, the of singer. A singer. Yeah, but uh, uh, her name was Christina Grimmie. She was also a gamer, which is really sad. A couple of days out from E3. Yeah. The uh, oh, and um, so yeah, and all she, the, all she all also the sort of been... um the the um well, yeah. The Young Turks actually ran a sort of a fairly sort of sad in memory of because she helped them out a lot in a lot of their sort of yeah. the gaming side of things. So. so, there is some cool that's come out of it. There's some, there's some interesting news that's come out of this. There's a, a petition on change.org to name an NPC in the new Zelda game. Yeah. To name, to, for her to be an NPC in the new game. So That'd be pretty cool. Just as a, as a bard somewhere, just playing her music. So yeah, at the moment it's at seventeen thousand signatures. It needs to get to twenty five thousand. Yeah, I uh, I know what Nintendo's like. Nintendo isn't the most sort of oh you want us to change something, have fun with that company. Um, but at the same time, this would be one of those rare moments where Nintendo can make some really good press, which they're not very good at doing. <laughs> so. so you know, oh oh, this is sad. Um. You guys remember the show Alf? Oh, the the old guy that plays yeah, Alf actor... is, is is in a coma. Uh no, actually he's passed away. Oh, well damn, that's an update. <laughs> yeah, he was in a coma, but he he died at the, um died at the age of seventy six. Oh. poor Alf. He gets, so, yeah, he, um, guess he gets so, to yeah, eat he cats will, in heaven so... now. So, yeah. Also, sad news that popped up recently. Um, remember the show The Jetsons? Yeah. yeah. The voice of Judy Jetson passed away. Wow! Like, you don't really think of The Jetsons as being an old show until you realize it was made in the sixties. Yeah, she was ni- she was ninety six years old. Oh, so she had crap. a good life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, those are a couple of pa- uh, sad deaths that popped up recently. Yeah. So uh this is this is funny. Uh you guys know those uh those really funny T Rex uh suit outfits? Yeah. Oh that's the so, stupid bloody T Rex things that are yeah, one of the ones. So someone wore one on American Ninja Warrior. <laughs> really? Why? Yes. That's gonna be that's gonna hinder <sighs> the mobility so much. He made it all into a spin cycle where eventually he lost his grip and fell into the pool. The best thing is the commentators like played along with it. So. Oh, God, so. I'm sorry. I find these things. I find these things hilarious. Uh, for me, the T Rex costume is like the meme of the month, and its month was last year sometime, or the year, possibly well, the year so before. Good. I wonder if we'll see one at Supernova. I kind of hope so. I'm sorry, I love those things. I think they're hilarious. Anyway, yeah. um, so uh, Game of Thrones, and we're getting we've gone into a very important episode of Game of Thrones. Yeah. Okay. Um, might we skip that until next time? Yeah, Amy hasn't seen it yet, so skip. Ah. Oh. No, that's not why. Is it because it's non sci-fi? And Michael won't be happy. No, no, no. Because we got well, another because person. So let him have this conversation. Yeah, we've oh, we, yeah, yeah, he's like, yeah, we, we do have to we have to, oh, have to oh, cover oh. Harrisburg. I'm you've got thirty seconds. Uh, I'll just leave it there then. Right. Oh wait, no, no. Uh, actually, no. Uh, one, the Royal Canadian Mint has released pure gold Star Trek coins. Oh, those! Yes, they look cool. They're the bat, the com badges, but as coins that are technically yeah. legal tender in Canada. It's like yes, Canada, I'm coming. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Canada's also released 
What was that? From Star Trek. Canada also released postage stamps of of Star Trek. Nice. Cool. So anyway, so yeah, we'll leave the news at that. All right. So it's time. I'm to... gonna go. I'm gonna go catch some sleep before before Sony. Yeah. Make sure you set your alarm. Um. So. No worry. Well. Well, let Stuart disappear. Bye, Stuart. Go out the airlock. Bye, Actually, everyone. No, for the first Hi. time ever, Stuart, I'm going to beam you down to the planet. Okay? You ready? There. You've been beamed away. <laughs> so, so Stuart, for the first time ever, gets the first beaming in the history of the podcast. Beam to the planet. Anyway, so let's jump over to Eugene, who spent last weekend at Harrisburg Comic Con, something he has been looking forward to for weeks and weeks and weeks. So, Eugene, how was it? Well, Comic Con was pretty good. Uh, we had um, one of the actresses was unable to show up. It was a last minute cancellation. But everybody else was there. And from the little bit I heard from different people, um, all of them were very nice that they got to talk to. Um, uh, vendors, we had uh, quite a few good vendors that that showed up and all of them said that they had a, had, um, had, had a, a good showing and they were all planning on coming back next year from what I heard because they are talking about doing a second Harrisburg Comic Con and but they are going to change the weekend nice. because that was a little well there, there was a little bit of a problem with it this year because Sci-Fi in the Valley was going on the same day and that's another con that was only about a two-hour drive from the yeah. Harrisburg Comic Con to that. Yeah, it's a bit hard to sort of have yeah. competing cons that are that relatively close. Yes. So, so, they're look, so they're looking for a different date for next year. But for everything I heard, they said it was a very good turnout. Um I was there as Perry County Hobbies. I, was I, I heard you, model. I heard your store had a bit of a stalker floating around, annoying you. Yeah, I tried shoving him out the airlock, but unfortunately, you know, he kept walking away, so I couldn't shove him out the airlock. <laughs> <laughs> For those who don't know who we're referencing, Michael was at Harrisburg Comic Con, um, one of the the, the creators of Safe Sci-Fi, and he was apparently tormenting Eugene quite a lot. <laughs> He actually did help out quite a bit. Tormenting, helping. I mean, same difference. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, him and I had had my booth set up in about an hour and a half. Nice. Yep. So, did he catch the bus and take two days, or did he walk and take one day? <laughs> Which I still can't make any. Uh, I, <laughs> makes no goddamn I sense. He drove. I think he drove. Uh, I believe he drove. Yeah. Um, but then again, you might have pulled out, you might have you might have pulled out his Harry Potter wand and flew. For all I know, <laughs> uh, yeah. This who knows? It's Michael. So, yeah, he definitely. I, I he's heard, not. I back from him. He said he had a lot of fun. There was a lot of really cool people. There. He actually did two cons, um, the last couple of weeks. So, yep. busy, busy boy. And he's, yep. gonna, he's gonna have fun doing I'll, that I'll, Battlestar Galactica kit you sold him. Well, that is a fantastic kit, the, the one by Mobius. I, I mentioned that uh, quite a while ago, and Mobius makes some fantastic Battlestar Galactica kits, oh, and yeah. he was eyeballing that all day, <laughs> uh. and he finally had to take it home. Yeah. Now, to see, I, 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 I love their kits, but the only downside is I don't like painting things. Never ends well for me. There's so. a real nice... Uh, there's a really a good review of it online where somebody used shoe polish to weather it. Ooh. That would and look fucking spectacular. It does. I don't remember where the page is at. You would have to go looking for, for it. But... They used literally black liquid shoe polish and and then wiped it off and it create it because it got deep into those crevices and it looks fantastic. Yeah. 
So, did you see that someone has made a six foot long original series Battlestar Galactica kit? It's like 12, 13 I grand. It's talking about that. Um, I don't want to know how expensive it is because I'm going, yeah, I have no place to put that <laughs> and I don't want to think about it. <laughs> it's about 13 grand, now, so. Yeah. Uh, some, I heard somebody uh, working on a number of other uh, large kits coming up that we'll, I'll have to provide information on when it becomes a little more public. Yeah. Right now there's some I know about, but I'm not allowed to say anything about. But there's a few other large-scale kits that are aftermarket kits. And... I do know the um, Battlestar Galactica Raptor is supposed to be due by the end of the year. That's going to be cool. Uh, yep. And the reissue of the 1 1,000th scale oh, um, USS Excelsior from Star Trek is coming soon. Did I mention that kit a while back or not? I can't remember. We've done way so, we've done so many of those the kit things. So. I know. How about this? All all the all of the three listeners we have, if you are listening to us in the comments, just if you remember, just type it in the comments and let us know, and we'll let you know if, if anyone finds out for us. Works for me. <laughs> just briefly, the Excelsior is coming back out, and. This time, the kit will include parts to build both the NX-2000 and the NCC-2000. They created, a, they had to create all new mold parts because the original Excelsior mold no longer exists. I think they took boric acid to the original mold in order to make the Enterprise B mold. Yeah, I'm, I'm, so, I'm pretty sure they did. Because they needed... That's why the the hull is a bit different on that one, so that they could actually bore holes and stuff into it. Yeah. So the original Excelsior mold doesn't exist. But this new kit includes is a lot nicer because it's got better detail and it will have the parts to build both ships. That's pretty cool. Yep. And that's that's due out out um, in the next few months, from what I understand. And Mobius finally has um, released the uh, images of the upcoming Penguin figure from the 1960s Batman series. Ooh. Yep, that's the third figure in the, in the set. There's going to be, I think, seven figures. And when you get them all, it will form the... The bat shield as the base. Nice. Yeah, the, the Mobius well, does really good stuff. They're almost the yes. the American version of. Oh man, I'm gonna butcher the crap out of this. Um, Cody Bash, Cody Bash or something like that. The guys that do the the high end Zoid model kits. Um, they also do lots of really high end figurines for different anime and stuff. Um, I'd probably I'd put them on sort of par with each other as sort of the best of the best, sort of quality-wise, for that sort of stuff. Yeah, Mobius does a fantastic job with their kits. Um, round 2 is doing a real good job with their kits. Now, Round 2 owns a lot of the old AMT kits, the MPC kits, the Lindbergh kits, and the Polar Light. Well, I have some of the kits they've gone back and retooled and improved. Other ones I haven't heard what they're doing. I know they're taking the old Lindbergh F-104 Starfighter kit, and it's coming back out in the next couple months, and it will include a miniature 12500 scale original USS Enterprise, and the decals will be for the Starfighter as seen in um, Tomorrow is... I think it's Tomorrow is Yesterday. Is that the correct episode? Um, I can't remember. 
That was that I was that was the Dominion War, wasn't it? No, original Star Trek. Oh, the Enterprise back in time. I think that was tomorrow's yesterday. Oh, in in, in Enterprise, the series Enterprise. Oh, the original, oh, the original series, series Enterprise. The I don't. Oh, man, it's been so long since I watched the original series. I've got no idea. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, tomorrow's yesterday. Keep going. <laughs> okay. Well, well, that that kit's coming out soon, nice. but it's going to come out under the. I think it's AMT or the. It's not going to be under the Lindbergh name. I do know that much, but it is the Lindbergh kit. So I'm hoping they at least cleaned it up a bit, so it's a much better fit than a lot of the old Lindbergh kits because they're horrible. <laughs> yeah. Some of them could be like that. But you know, that's a little bit of a hobby report. And I'm, and like I said, uh, Harrisburg Comic Con was good. But, uh, hoping for a good turnout again next year when they, they release the details for it. Yeah. Who knows? I might be over there next this time next year. Well, if you decide you really are coming over, I'm sure I can find a place for you to stay. <laughs> Sounds good. The the should be guy actually. I I've got to save quite a bit of money before I do a trip to the states. After all, bulletproof vests aren't cheap. I gotta get myself a passport. <laughs> we got a nice little bridge you can live under <laughs> while you're here. <laughs> I am the troll that lives under the bridge. You must pay me to go across. Uh. <laughs> uh. You won't want to try that here because, you know, I live in Perry County and our friends are shotguns found inside the doors. <laughs> uh. So, anyway, um, Amy, do you, have you been keeping up with the Garrison 7 stuff? Yes. Do you want Oddly to tell, enough. do you want to tell everyone about the Garrison 7 news from a couple of days ago? Okay, there's about three different things. Um, oh yeah, really quickly, before I forget, that hobby report was brought to you by Perry County Hobbies. Make sure you check them out online or in store for all sorts of cool stuff. Anyway, sorry, go, Amy. Okay, uh, Bris uh, Sydney Nova, you can actually get a photo with one of the main characters for Garris in Garrison 7. Um, they're also doing... They're also going to be Sorry, part of the Veteran Film Festival. Yes, as well as after. Yeah. Um, and you can also apply to be one of the actors yeah, at, at, Super, in at Sydney. In Sydney. So if you go to Sydney and you check out the Garrison 7 guys, as far as I know, they're going to have the Beast there, but I'm, the Titan, I'm not sure if they will or they won't. I'm, I think they will. Um, but don't hold me to that. They're doing a casting call... So if you want to be part of Garrison 7, you can rock up and and have a chat to them about that. Make sure you, when you're there, definitely give them a shout out and say that Save Sci-Fi sends them the love. Because we always do, because it's Garrison 7 and we love Scott and everyone else that's doing it. Um, so, anyway, that's, that's pretty much it for this week's podcast. Still got a minute a bit left, so make sure I, you... I, I, yep. I found it funny on how they were doing the casting. Oh, you beat how she put the video up with her just doing the holding the signs up. You didn't hear it from me. Yeah. That was great. You didn't hear <laughs> it, literally. Because she didn't say a word. <laughs> so, so, anyway. Um, make sure you check out facebook.com slash garrison... Uh, I think it's facebook.com slash garrison7. Well, garrison Seven's on Facebook. You can't miss it. Just It's, it's on there. Um, check out Save sci .com. we share all Garrison 7 stuff, so if you need to find it, you can find it through them. Check out facebook.com slash this um, Save Sci Fi podcast for all your podcast related stuff. Check out facebook.com slash The Deadliest Fandom for all of your sci fi battles and fantasy battles and stuff like that. This week we have the Goblin King up against um, Saruman from Lord of the Rings. So the Goblin King from Labyrinth, Jareth or whatever his name is. Um, and then. Next, so and then we're gonna have some fighters and stuff. Make sure you give us a like and a share on uh, iTunes and Stitcher and anywhere else podcasts live. And that's it. Bye.
Bye. Bye. Bye.